What's going on, everyone? Real quick, I want to talk about another gun in my collection. Uh, this is an MMP Pro Series Core model. This is a Generation 1 MMP. Uh, I bought this, actually, because the day I bought it, I was actually in a store looking for a 5-inch MMP uh, 1.0 or original, whatever you want to call it. Now it's the 2.0. And I stumbled upon this, and I had heard a little bit about them at the time. And uh, for the price, I just was like, you know what? Yeah, give me that gun. It was uh, the same size as the 40 I had at the time, which is 4.25 inch barrel. So is this one. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. Um, this one though, when I felt the trigger in the store, that's when I knew I had to have it. I real quick, I'm gonna safety check it. This one's a nine millimeter. And as you can see, the magazine is empty and the chamber is empty. Um, yeah, right off the bat, this one, this little textured back strap on the grips, much better. Kind of the same kind of stippling on the front as a standard MP for the time, but that back I liked a lot. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Pro Series is supposed to be like better tuned trigger out of the factory, and the core mean, stands for competition, optics, ready, enhanced. This gun came with a bunch of plates, and I always meant to put a red dot on it, I just never got around to it for whatever reason. Also, too, this one has suppressor height sights. Three white dot suppressor height sights, I should say. I'll let you see them there in the camera. And this one had a threaded barrel on it when I bought it in the store and came out that day with a threaded barrel on it. It came with the other barrel that's in it right now. I shot it with a threaded barrel for like maybe 250 rounds and just kind of thought, well, I don't think I'm going to put a can on it anytime soon. So I just went to the standard barrel. And I thought maybe I'd do a can after I did a red dot. Because this was, I want to say I got this back in like 2015 or 2016, something like that. But uh, this gun, I uh, the trigger real quick, we're going to do it. Kind of a mushy take up a little bit. Way better though than that standard MP40 I have. Or that I had at the, or still have, excuse me. But at the time in comparison... I was like, oh my God, that's night and day. But anyways, you hit the wall right here. Nice, crisp, clean break. And the reset though. Already there. Just definitely more audible than the standard uh, MMPs at the time. Real quick too, if uh, you don't know, most of the 2.0s will say 2.0 on them, but you can always look. They'll have a little bit more of a pronounced beaver tail kind of type thing right here on the frame. That way you'll know if it's a 1.0. And now they have a Pro Series, I believe, of the 2.0. Don't know if it actually says core all over it like this. But I think this, this gun, though, at the time before, like, everyone wanted to have a red dot on everything. Because now all the manufacturers are making pistols with red dots, or with red dot capability right out of the factory or with a red dot on it. But I think MMP was smart to do this early on. Because I want to say at the time, I remember... I still have them all, too, in the packaging. I just haven't opened the case for this in a long time. It's in storage. But all the stuff's in there with that other barrel. I think I got, like, five or six plates with this and for, like, five or six different red dots. And I just was going to always put a red dot on it. Just, like I said, never got around to it. I just got kept getting caught up with other stuff and other projects and work and whatnot. But, yeah, uh, another MMP. Again, like I said, I like the MMP line a lot. And I like other striker fires, too. Usually what I'll do is I'll go and rent something and shoot it before I, I buy it, if I can. Sometimes I will go ahead and just buy something. Like, I keep thinking I want to get one of those massages because I keep finding them for like $450. And I guess if I don't like it, I can always just sell it down the road. But, you know, I always try and give everything a try. At least dry fire in the store if you can. But if you can definitely have a buddy or can rent one or just shoot like a box out of it, always shoot something before you buy it, I say. Because you don't want to have buyer's remorse but this though i knew i liked the mmp line a lot and i was looking for a five inch nine millimeter striker fired mmp or something similar i almost walked out with the fn that day but yeah i walked out with this one instead and i had a buddy that had had one i'd only ever heard him talk about it he'd uh he'd shown it to me just because he'd had it out of his safe a couple times but i never even asked to dry fire it but uh he liked his so much and again, I didn't think it could be that much better than a standard MMP at the time, but uh, I ended up getting the one, and uh, 
I think his was actually the full size because they had this in a full size too. I think he had the five inch one. I was just for a standard five inch MMP. But yeah, this uh, is a great gun. Uh, even by today's standards, I'd say you could drop an apex trigger in this and you'd probably have something that can probably keep up with the regular MMP 2.0s or whatever their core series is now or pro series, whatever they're calling it. But again, by today's standards, still. I think this is kind of evens, or not evens up, but steps up to the plate with a lot of other stuff that's on the market today. But yeah, this is a, just a good gun. If you ever get the chance to shoot one, or if you see one you want, I say go ahead and get it. I don't know how much of a demand there is for these, because honestly, there's so many striker-fired 9mm out there these days, but you'll probably always find someone that would want one of these. Let me put the mag back in real quick. But Oh yeah, and real quick, this one's 9mm. 17 rounds and these magazines do fit in a 2.0 so that's a plus but yeah mp pro series core 1.0 or original whatever you want to call it if you ever get a chance like i said to shoot one go ahead and shoot it or buy it i say because you can probably find it i'd imagine haven't priced them but i bet you could find this for four 450 easy but yeah i do appreciate uh, anyone watching and everyone be safe and take care